I made a custom bar. Today I'll show you how I made the custom brackets that hold this river bar firmly in place. I did this by creating custom angle brackets with the stability of a tiny I-beam, but with custom curves at 90 degrees. I wanted to create something that was functional and strong, and I wanted zero racking or side-to-side -side movement of this bar once it was installed. But I also wanted a custom look as this is a one-off design and creation for a friend. Let's get into it, I'll show you. The first step was to envision it in my mind and then draw it out on a piece of paper before I started to engineer it. I took painter's tape and drew out to scale the outline of the bracket. I started cutting out the bracket templates out of pine on the bandsaw here. Again, I can make any last minute tweaks before I start cutting any metal. Notice that I'm cutting my template in half. I did this in two parts because the metal is only wide enough to cut each section out individually, and then I will weld them together to make one piece out of the steel that will be identical to the complete template. If this doesn't make sense, it will. Also notice that I'm cutting the template about a half inch smaller than when I made it. This is to account for the spacer guide that's on the tip of the plasma cutter. I just put the guide up against the template and then follow around the template with the plasma cutter so that the shape is cut out of the steel. You'll see here in a minute. Before I started cutting, I then cleaned up the rough edges on the spindle sander so that I have a good surface to reference off when cutting the steel. Then, channeling my inner Stevie Wonder, I first cut some steel to size and then started to cut out the rough shape of the brackets using the template that I had previously made. I was only able to cut the bottom half because of the width of the steel. I found it a little easier to just freehand the top sections of each bracket. I will shape them all later with the grinder. I welded all of the cut pieces with a small tack weld and then set out to shape them with the grinder all together so that they are all the exact same size and shape. This will be important later when I weld them together. They will all be identical. Then, using a right angle square, I began to weld the bottom and the top pieces together. Again, the square ensures that they are 90 degrees so that they will hold the bar up straightly. S straight. Straightish? The beauty of working with steel is that once you have welded it, you can grind away the welds until the steel is flat and it hides the fact that it was ever welded together. Steel is much more forgiving than wood in this way. Now comes the most fun part of this project and that is welding on more steel to give it an I-beam construction for strength and lateral stability and I think this makes it look kind of cool too. Everything is flat on the bench, and then I use these magnets to keep the edge steel at 90 degrees. When I tack weld the steel, it heats up and makes it easier to bend into place for the next tack weld. I use clamps and a hammer to bend it to my will and to the shape of the bracket. Notice I'm not putting a full bead of weld down, just tack welds. This was to make it look more industrial and manly. You can't have a custom bar with boring welds. I then repeated these welds on the other side. I also made some brackets to hold on the footrests for the bar. It is the same basic principles that I just showed you, but with a smaller shape. I used the same idea to create a strong bracket for people to put their feet on while hanging out at the bar. The client wants this footrest to get worn down from all of the good memories that he will have around this custom piece. Check out this gratuitous grinding scene. Also, for this custom build, I made some detailed corner covers to go on the lower bar. 
This customer is a police officer, so I made a special set of corner brackets, and you'll see later on what details that I put on these corner covers. I really enjoy making custom projects that are meaningful to the clients. I made a jig to weld these corner covers at 90 degrees. Then, still using the big square, I welded on some screw plates so that I can attach the brackets to the lower bar cabinet carcass. I will screw the brackets into the 2x4 corners of the carcass, but I need a mounting plate. That's why I'm putting this mounting plate on. Now that the brackets are welded, I'm going to focus on the detail corner covers again. I'm welding a piece onto the corner covers, which is going to hold another piece, which you'll see right here putting some empty rounds onto these corner covers. We opted for empty rounds just in case the parties got out of control around the bar so that there would be no possibility of these accidentally going off. We paid attention to the details. The client wanted black paint on all of the metal, so I chose a flat black and put several coats on all of the steel. Here are some shots of the finished project after I installed them. This video is part one of this custom bar build. Please check the end screen to find the link for the next video where I pour the river bar. I'm Glenn, thanks for watching.